not gonna lie, I have a scrunchie in my purse, a Girl, blue scrunchie. Oh, you're getting a high yes, five for that. I, I love, love it. it. Hey, you guys, you are back at Clever. I'm Jocelyn, and I'm so excited to be really meeting for the first time someone I've been watching on YouTube forever, <laughs> the legend, the OG, Michelle Fawn. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You are like an OG, you're a legend. It's crazy. Makes me feel like I'm legit a gangster. Yes, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> when you look back on the span of your career, um, specifically on YouTube, what is a moment that really stands out to you that was like the most special over the years? Well, actually, when I moved out to LA. Mm -hmm. When I moved out to LA, this was in 2010, um, something was calling me to come out here, and now LA has officially become the mecca for YouTubers. I mean, it everyone has. comes out and they move out here. Yeah. And they, they like live in, like, 10 people will li live uh -huh. in a four bedroom apartment just, just so they can just be here because everything is happening here. So really like when I made the move out to LA that changed my entire life because I had access to um, really like all the agencies, mm -hmm. the brands, I was able to network better because I was originally, I was in Florida and so you don't really think of media when you go to Florida. Think of Disney, Disney World Disney and World Gators. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> and good key lime pie, of course. <laughs> One of the best advice I can give to any creator is, you know, if you're if you're scared, if you're scared to take that leap of faith, sometimes that leap of faith is everything that you need mm -hmm. that can invite that new change that you're looking for in your life. Something I love that you're doing here with Icon is that you're sharing everything that you've learned, which is so selfless of you coming up. It, through your career, I'm sure you've had friends like these people who are going to be friends for years to come. Um, who do you feel like's really been along with you on this journey? Shout out to Swoozy, Swoozy06 <laughs> on YouTube. He was actually someone that I knew from college, and he knew me before my YouTube channel blew up. And he's someone that I still keep uh, close communication and contact with. And he recently moved out here to LA, so congratulations, Swoozy. Now you're you know, starting Icon or a partnership with Icon, mm -hmm. you were recognized here as a digital entrepreneur, which you really are. You are the epitome of a girl boss, which I think is so awesome. Where do you go from here? Like, what do you want to tackle next? Well, I'm finally able now to um, write my story that I started when I was 11 years old, a comic book. So now I can illustrate that and put it on online for people to read and it's gonna be free, so it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Also, like, I'm very, very interested and I'm also working closely with uh, 360 content, so content and games that are on, on VR in the immersive world. That's really a new format of storytelling that I'm really, really interested in because it's so new and groundbreaking mm -hmm. and, and I love newness because when, especially when it's unexplored, it gives me and my team the capability to just to go in and have fun mm -hmm. and experiment because you never know when you experiment you, you come across magic you know like mm -hmm. magic happens when you're accidentally trying to make something work and I'm really looking forward to ha making these accidents happen and I love what you said about like this being the perfect time to be a creator to yes. be an artist yes. um, can you elaborate on that a sure little bit? I mean I went to school in illustration and a lot of my illustrative uh, illustration um, professors were telling us the timeline, like what you had to go to to get one illustration printed in a magazine or a newspaper. And today, if you want your illus illustration published on Instagram, you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And if your drawing or, or your creation is beautiful, it'll catch on. I mean, people will notice. We're living in an age now where talent is finally noticed and it, it's deserved, finally. Mm -hmm. because. For a long time, if you looked at, for example, a magazine cover, you didn't really, you don't really know who did that makeup. I mean, sure, you have to go and look at the credits, but it's not there. It's not like you can just tap on that cover and then all the names pop up, exactly. like Instagram. People now get that instant gratification um, for crediting, mm -hmm. and so now this invites a bigger conversation for other artists to collaborate with other artists. And so you have this great hairstylist who will collaborate with this musician, and this musician will collaborate with this graffiti artist, and they're doing a photo shoot in front of this graffiti. So it just adds more and more layers to mm -hmm. the story for artists and that's why I really meant it when I said this is the golden era for artists and creators. Amen to that. I love it. Um, well to kind of change things up, yeah. everyone here first off is so stylish. You know, I do definitely make huge fashion fails. I think we've all have. Um, do you have any tips like how to stay away from like a specific fail? For the longest time I always bought things because I thought it looked good on a mannequin. And then later I realized, you know what? I don't look like the mannequin. I'm I'm one feet shorter. I'm one foot shorter than the mannequin and my body type is not even the same. And so that's why it's so important to look at your body type and understand your body type. Not everyone can have a thigh gap. 
it's it's actually genetics not like possible. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, for some people it's actually not possible it doesn't mean that they're not beautiful um, and same goes with everything else you know like some people might some girls might have an hourglass shape others might have a pear shape understand your body type and once you know what it is then you can start dressing appropriately for mm -hmm. that body type and it flatters you better. And one thing style-wise that we I've been chatting with my friends about, that I've been chatting with everyone here about, that's making a big resurgence as far as trends is the 90s. Yes, and the 70s. And clothes. Yes. Yeah, so what are you really excited about with those decades? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I have a scrunchie in my purse, a Girl, blue scrunchie. Oh, you're getting a high yes. five for that. I, I have it. it. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, yes, I can finally wear this and it's proudly, trendy. Proudly. Yes, exactly. Like the lip liner look, I love the lip mm -hmm. liner look because like a girl, like when, when she has a strong pout and she can recreate that, he or she, depending on like whatever, whatever your vibe you is, do. we don't judge here. <laughs> um, just like re recreating a pout and just redefining the face and the just I just think in general, like it's just so cool to see the 90s. It's back because that was really my childhood. Like mm -hmm. I grew up in the 90s and seeing how some of these trends ha are making a statement again, makes me feel closer to the younger generation who are discovering this, you know? Like mm -hmm. I can tell them, oh my gosh, like this scrunchie. Here's a story of when I was in fourth grade and what happened when I had the scrunchie. Who is someone in the style game or in maybe the celebrity world or whatever that you're really excited about that's an up and comer? I really love the style of FKA Twigs. I think her style is very, very, I just love how eccentric she is and just, she's different. Having that sense of difference is nice, you know? It's, it's, it just brings that sense of newness and also it makes her really unique and I love how she celebrates her uniqueness so this one girl Doja Cat I have my eye on her because first I love her music and I just I dig her style her style is so true and raw to herself and you got to listen to some of her music I'm gonna I think have to like check it. her out Doja Cat yeah she's she's dope well thank you so much for sitting down with us it was so nice to meet you you guys Michelle Fawn she's even nicer in person I'm just letting she, you know she's really sweet <laughs> follow her on Twitter guys oh wow please yes. please do right here link is right here <laughs> thanks for watching right <laughs> see you later bye guys and if you're like Michelle Thon and you love the 90s, click to the left to check out a rundown of our favorite style trends that are totally making a comeback, or click to the right to check out the best and worst when it comes to weirdly colored celebrity hair trends, which you know I'm obsessed with. And thanks to T-Mobile for sponsoring today's episode of Clever News Feed.